Hi guys, Joe from Prepper in the Woods here. Now, um, I found an independent uh, guy, well, a guy who's starting up his own thing. He's, um, he's a prepper in bushcraft for a lot of years, and he couldn't find the stuff he wanted, so he decided to make his own, which I, you know, I, that's cool. I like that kind of stuff. I do as well. So, he sourced very, very good quality material from America, um, 1000D, Cordera, all the rest of it. Really, really nice stuff. I mentioned it on my Facebook group. Uh, I put some pics on Instagram, so check out those first. I put a lot of information quickly on those first until I get time to shoot a video. But this one here, um, I like it so much, I'm actually gonna wait um, for him to put more stuff out together. Um, it's really, it's a really good organizer. Um, it has Molly on the outside here, so you see that there. It has a grab handle on top here for pulling out of your bag. On the other side, you have a bit of Velcro there for put your um, badges or whatever you want to put on there. It has a small pocket in the front here, which runs alongside. The camo pattern is really nice, but again, it's there's no stitches run out. This isn't like a um, a cheap you know knockoff of anything or. You know, poor workmanship. This is really, really nice. Well, well done. So the zip works really well, and I've only loaded it up with um, stuff my cook kit, basically. Um, so I'm gonna put it down now. We'll have a quick look, and um, I'm really excited about this. I want to show this to you. So let's just have a bit more time to look at it. So here it is. As you can see, there's a very large pouch at the back. Um, which stores my bushcraft stove and a small chopping board. It has nice little webbing in here, but the webbing also goes down to the bottom here. So you can put something long in there. You can put your pens in there. I just put some matches in here. But So you have a large pocket, you have three other options here, and then you have two more down below. So it's very th well thought out. You can organize a bunch of stuff here. I don't particularly have small stuff like this. Um, my EDC stuff is um, a lot bigger than this, but plenty of room here for pens and markers. On the opposite side here, um, again, you have large webbing there, and you have some shock cordage there with some ties on it. The large back here, and then you have, again, small pouches in the front here. Zip works really well. I'll put the specs on the screen of all the ones I can find. If you want more information on that, check out my Facebook group. But this can hold a lot. Um, I did put a picture up of how much stuff's in here. I mean, you got a knife on this side here, which runs from top to bottom. I'm gonna do a close up about everything. But, you know, a spatula. It's just, it's just a lot of kit in here. And so it works really, really nice. So I like that. And to organize my cook kit, I think this would be ideal for me. Also, if you wanted different specs, you can um, contact them and let them know what you're interested in and what kind of pouch you want, and they will make it for you. So I'm just trying to, like, you could put a spice, your spice tubes in here if you want to make this into a cook set. You know, anything wrong that you don't want them flapping about, you can just go through there and then hang on the bottom there. Got my ferro rod in there, spatula, but I mean like the size of the back here, you can see that that's not, that's a good size cutting board, which fit right in the snug over there. So that'd be good for notebooks or stuff like that really, if you wanted to write in a rain book. But yeah, it's, then you have your bungees down here. Now for the back of it, if you want to put it on, on your back of your bag for some reason, you can buy individual like tack um, Molly webbing stuff where they go on here and then make it so that it hooks onto your bag. So that's another option you have there as well. Um, all official, like, Molly cam. I mean, this is like proper, proper good material, really heavy, heavy duty, but the stitching is really, really good on this. So I can't give this enough credit on that. Let's see if I can get it closer on that. And there you are. It's probably closer than you can get it with my camera, but the stitching you can see here. It's all very well made. Sometimes when you pick up a product and it really surprises you about craftsmanship, I um I usually make a video on it. I also try to help out the um small guys with their businesses as well. But 
So it's, it's all it's all really well done. And you can see see no loose strings, no nothing. It's really really good. This one runs for $39.99. It sounds like a lot to um, some people but you know he's using really really high quality materials here. Right so that's my introduction to Red 5 Customs. I'll put a link in the description box below. Um, like I said, I can't say enough about the quality of this. It's, this is really, really nice. Um, so I'm gonna let's take my bushcraft bag.